Hi to all the learners and viewers out there. Today we'll be discussing a fortune wheel and we'll let you know how to create a fortune wheel within Microsoft PowerPoint. This fortune wheel can actually be used for different purposes. For example, you can use it as an energizer if you are a trainer. You can use it for presentations and you can link it to your different slides within the presentation if you are an employee or a project manager and if you are a teacher you can use it for your students and similarly students can use it for different assignments so let's start so there are two different options by which we can actually create this fortune wheel either by using a smart art or by using the chart option but what we'll do is we'll go with the chart option as uh, uh, this is part of our series so we'll click on the insert ribbon and within this insert ribbon we'll go to illustrations command box and here I'll click this chart button within chart you have different options available click on the pie charts and select the basic pie chart that is available within your Microsoft PowerPoint application. Here it is. Currently by default it has four different quarters or four different segmentations which are not unique. Uh, they are different uh, in value. So the very first step that you need to do is uh, I just need four uh, different segregations. I don't need more as we are just uh, showing how to create it you can always add more or subtracts if required so i'll make the value same so that it the colors are distributed equally among this pie chart now as you can see that uh, there are four different quadrants and uh, they are equally distributed among this picture i'll remove the headings from this uh, pie chart as uh, these are no uh, not required in order to form a perfect fortune wheel so this is our fortune wheel and we have created four different segments now uh, what we'll be doing is you can either segregate it or you can place it back so I'll just move it up what I would love to do is I would like to add a button so for creating a button I'll be using this rectangle and what this button will be doing is when I'll click on this button, it will start the fortune wheel and fortune wheel will start spinning or revolving. And when I'll click it again, it will stop. So I'll rename the button as start slash stop. So that if somebody is using or viewing this presentation, it is clear that this button will act as a starter and this will but this button will also support stopping this fortune wheel you can also have different effects within this uh, shape as well for example you can change the fill color if you want uh, and you can add some outlines uh, if uh, they are feasible so you have plenty of options you can also add different shape effects for shape effects please go and visit our other videos so uh, you can do or uh, use all these options now you can also add a background or a circle around this in order to create a shadow but uh, this all depends on the creativity and whatever you are using i'll just demonstrate the purpose and the basic method how to create a fortune wheel so now what we'll be doing is we'll click on this uh, pie chart we'll go to the animations tab and we'll open it there are three four different types of animations available within this particular ribbon we'll go to the emphasis applications and we'll use a spin see when i'm using a spin it revolves let's uh, go to this animation pane if it's not available on your right hand side you just need to click this animation pane and it will appear now we have one animation I'll click on this drop down menu within these text options or within the effects uh, we have available uh, we have different options available the very first one is amount so yes we are creating a fortune wheel and we would like it to be revolving around 360 degrees although you have different options available as well you can also make it uh, spin counterclockwise but that totally depends on the requirements the second tab is timing 
and as it's a fortune wheel so i would love to move it a bit more faster so i'll select one seconds from the duration and in the repeat feature i'll say that please repeat it until next click but see what we are actually doing is we have created a button and we would like to start and stop this wheel based on the click of this button this is called as trigger in microsoft powerpoint see the option is available here click on this box and it will uh, it will pop up some different options i'll say that please start this effect whenever i'm clicking on rectangle 7 with caption start stop and when i'll select this i'll press or i'll hit ok and let's uh, see some demo so when i'll click on this button see what happens the wheel starts spinning perfect it's running but now we need to stop it as well so in order to stop it we'll add another animation to this pie chart we'll go to this add animation box and we'll say that please use the appear animation within entrance so uh, whenever we'll be clicking this button again the wheel will restart from the initial position but currently you can see that the very first animation we selected from the right hand side is for the spin and after that we have selected this appear animation so when you'll now when you'll see the preview you'll see that the spin wheel will not be available let's try it out see it's not available so what you need to do is you need to change the sequence of these animations i'll just move the chart 6 animation blow the spin one so that uh, first uh, on clicking this button it starts spinning and when i'll click again it will stop and restart from its initial position now let's uh, go and see a preview from the slideshow see firstly the spin box or the spin circle is appearing now when i'll click on this start to stop button it will start spinning and when I'll click it again, it will stop. Perfect, it's working. So, this is how you can create a fortune wheel. Now, there are a lot of things that you can add. For example, you can change the background color. You can make it uh, much more brighter. Or if you have a company logo or an event uh, picture that is presentable, please uh, go ahead and use that in the background. And... Uh, now you can also add an arrow here above this button so what i'll do is i'll go again do go to the insert ribbon i'll go to shapes i'll use this arrow i'll just revolve it upwards so that this arrow will indicate where the wheel is actually stopping so this is i'll place it here now let's go and start the presentation again See, when I'll click this button, it will start revolving. When I'll click it again, it will stop. And now, now I know that uh, the presentation or the spin wheel is stopping in this orange segment. So this is how you create a fortune wheel. This is a very basic and simple fortune wheel. Uh, there are a lot of ideas which we'll be discussing and we'll be presenting in our further lectures. For example, you can... Uh, name your slides here and you can link this fortune wheel with different slides within the same presentation you can have different names uh, over, written over here in this fortune wheel you can create a quiz you can create an energizer by using this fortune wheel so i hope that you must have liked this video please uh, do think uh, out of the box and make it much more viable for your audience and use it according to your requirement. But make sure that you have subscribed to your YouTube channel which is Learner Deck so that you don't miss any of the upcoming videos. And thanks for watching this one.